Your whole life you make plans. Plans to find that someone special and plans to work toward retirement. And something unexpected happens that could ruin it all. Now what's your plan? Call Michaels and Smolak today. We have a game plan, the better game plan. Well, need we remind you that Halloween is tomorrow? And as you put together your costumes and your trick-or-treating plans, we have some last-minute safety tips for you. Meet Russ Mitchell, who is the president of the Neighborhood Watch of Central New York. Nice to see you. Thank you. First of all, when you're out trick-or-treating, kids should never go out alone. Absolutely. They need to go in a group. And uh, the older kids, the younger kids need to have a responsible adult with them. The older kids, when they go, they need to tell their parents where they're gone, who they're gone with, and carry a cell phone and, and have them check in about every hour. Okay, and besides a cell phone, you want them to carry some kind of illumination too. Absolutely, a flashlight, a glow stick. Want to make sure that they can see. Absolutely. Uh, that's a, that the parents really need to worry about those things. Uh, any mask that you're wearing has to have big holes in it so kids can have the vision that they need. Uh, if you can not put a mask on and do makeup or face painting, that's probably the best way to go. One of the big things uh, that I think parents need to do, and that is to go on their website for the sheriff, www.sheriff.com, and click into the New York State Sex Offender Registry just to see if there's anybody in the area. So that's important. That's probably one of the first things I would do as a parent if I had young kids out there. Okay, and that's something uh, relatively new and easy to do, too. That, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for your tips. Happy Halloween to you. Thank you. Um, we have that information on the Sex Offender Registry on our website. It is linked as well. It's real good advice. Have a safe Halloween, and hope you learned something this morning.